In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct the repeated measures ANOVA in Intellective Statistics. So once you have your data in, simply go to the analyses, select ANOVA, and select repeated measures ANOVA. Go ahead and select the DVs, and then just move them on over. And that's it. What results is, is uh, the assumptions of the repeated measures ANOVA, which is normality. To understand what that QQ plot means, so simply scroll over and you can see whether it looks more normal or not normal. Multivariate outliers, sphericity, and the interpretation of that, here it was violated. And then the results. So what we can see from the APA table is that there was a within subject difference or difference among time, because that p-value is less than 0.01, and that's the effect size. Okay. Here are the means for time one, time two, time three, and a plot. And then we have also um, post hoc tests. And here you can see time one versus time two, one versus three, and two versus three. And look at those significance levels and see, hey, gosh, they were all different from each other. That's to say time one different from two, time one different from three, and time two different from three. And that's it. That's how you conduct a, a repeated measures ANOVA. To download the document, you simply come up here and download it into a Word document. And that's it.